Since emissions regulations have been first introduced, there's been a vast reduction in tailpipe emissions of around 97%. So by law, as an engine manufacturer, we have to complete certain in-use testing, such as in-service conformity testing as part of the on-highway Euro 6 regulations and in-service monitoring as part of the non-road stage 5 regulations. For non-road, we'll come to the machine owner's site and we'll conduct the testing there. For on highway, we'll bring the vehicles on site to one of our test facilities and we'll conduct the testing from that facility. So we are constantly looking to expand our testing location to meet the needs and the requirements of the testing. So where we don't have a Cummins facility, we'll use carefully selected testing providers to conduct testing on our behalf. Cummins also go above and beyond what is legally required by testing engines up to and above their emissions useful life. So once we have a vehicle identified, we work with the end user to schedule a time that works well for them for testing. We then arrange logistics to bring the vehicle to our site. Once the vehicle's on site, we check over it and make sure it's in good working order and that it's ready for road testing. Next, we move on to the installation, which includes two main pieces. The first piece is we install what's called a payload. This payload is meant to weigh the vehicle as it normally would be while it's delivering passengers as a bus or as it's delivering goods as a truck. The payload, we can use a variety of different pieces of equipment, including concrete blocks, as well as barts that are filled with water. Once the payload is installed, we move on to the second piece of installation, which is the PIMS equipment itself. Now, the PIMS equipment stands for the Portable Emissions Measurement System. So this equipment takes samples of the exhaust as the vehicle is driving and takes them in a heated line to the analyzer itself where the gaseous emissions are analyzed with the internal components. Once the vehicle is ready for testing, we have set routes around our testing facility that we drive the vehicle on. These routes differ based on the vehicle classification, so a city bus will drive a different route than a delivery truck. The routes are made up of different percentages of urban, rural, and motorway sections. A typical test takes about three hours and we plan to do one test per day. Once the vehicle has a valid test and we're comfortable with testing, we will then remove the payload, remove the PIMS equipment, and make sure the vehicle is in the same condition it came to us. We will then arrange logistics to transport it back to the end user. For non-road, the equipment used is the same as on highway. We use the same PIMS equipment. The difference is that we test at the customer site while the machine completes its real duty cycle. Hi, I'm James Coxon from Coxon Brothers, uh, Beedale, North Yorkshire. So Cummins uh, contacted us. We chose a date that was convenient for both of us. Um, they came out to the preliminary testing to make sure the machine was running at a level that they wanted. And then they arranged a secondary date, um, again, convenient to us and came out and ran the tests. By working with Cummins and the emission reduction side of things, it helps us to be a more ethical company. And uh, we are working a lot in the environment. We'll always work with uh, the vehicle owners to try and minimise impact on their operations uh, for this testing. So we will schedule it during quiet times and there's also several incentives that we can offer to facilitate this. Cummins needs your support with vehicles and machines to allow us to complete this critical testing and accelerate global sustainability goals. Mm -hmm.